at the risk of sounding like Brian Linehan here, tell us about the chair in your bedroom. <laughs> ah, the chair. The chair is how, okay. When I, ooh, I guess I was 22 years old, I was trying, down in Los Angeles trying to break in as a writer. And I was getting nowhere. I was writing a lot of sample scripts that you know, people would read and go, good. And that was it. And uh, I went to, to go to various classes. I didn't have any sort of formal education or informal education for that matter. And uh, so I, uh, I found myself at Danny Simon's writing class. Danny was, uh, was Neil Simon's brother, passed away last year, unfortunately. And uh, Danny had taught uh, Woody Allen and, and his brother and a couple of the people, so wonderful teacher. And I met a student there who said, and we started talking, and he said he had an assignment for one day at a time, which was in the air at the time. And he was writing with his partner. But his partner, uh, for some reason, they weren't writing. And it was Thursday, and the script was due on Monday, and they hadn't started yet. I said, I'll write it with you. He said, no, you don't understand. I, I, I can't pay you. I said, it's totally fine. I said, I can't give you any credit. In the, in the, you know, it'll be the other guy's name. I said, it's totally fine. I just want to write it with you. So we did. We wrote it together. We turned it in on Monday. It was great. And, but he said uh, to me that I have to do something. I feel guilty. I, I, to give you something. So I've been sitting in this big Salvation Army chair the entire time in this tiny apartment in Glendale. It was a ratty thing. It cost about $2. And I said, I like the chair. I'll take the chair. <laughs> so I took it and uh, eventually recovered it and recovered it again. It's still in my house because what happened was that the script got turned in and uh, Howard, the writer, said, I don't know if you can like the script or not, but I wrote it with this guy, Paul Haggis. And they, they hired uh, us to do uh, different strokes based on that, and that was the start of my career. And so I'm never letting go of that chair. It's, it's always, always going to be my home. Well, that's a great story. Yeah. Which is a great thing, because I, I think I, I learned early on that in order to, you have to make yourself, you, you need an edge. And my edge, since I wasn't good, I had to be free. And so, <laughs> <laughs> so not cheap, free. And, <laughs> and so. So, but it, it works really well, and people just don't do it. You're giving away your services is such a great way to get into this business uh, because no one expects it. And it's a little off-putting because people always expect something in return, and they will eventually compulsively give you something. I get a chair, but then I get a job too, and that's what happens. People, a lot of people have, have, uh, uh, have gotten and worked that way.